for March 30th, we have a prisoner unaware is the kind of prisoner most vulnerable to her captors or his captors. The easiest prey there is. Well, I see religion as a mental slavery, so I would agree with that statement. Father, your word clearly states that you will punish the world for its evil, the wicked for their sins. You will put an end to the arrogance of the haughty and will humble the pride of the ruthless. Isaiah 13, 11. And I will punish the world for, for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity. And I will cause their arrogancy of the pride to cease and will lay, lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. Sure, sure God's going to do that on the great day of judgment. Lord, even mighty King Nebuchadnezzar, learn to praise and exalt and glorify the King of Heaven and acknowledge that everything you do is right, that all your ways are just, and that those who walk in pride you are able to humble. Well, the Bible says that. But we don't really know for sure. Daniel 4.37 Pages are all stuck. Now I, Neb Nebuchadnezzar, praise and extol and honor the King of Heaven, all whose works are truth, and his ways judgment, and those that, <laughs> that walk in pride he is able to abase. Okay, so that must prove it, says in the Bible. Your word says that pride hardens the heart. Daniel 5, 20. But when his heart was lifted up and his mind hardened in pride, he was deposed from his kingly throne, and they took his glory from him. Proven. Your desire for me is to be, is that I be tender heart, hearted, I don't know, tender hearted. Ephesians 4.32 You know what, I actually don't care. I'm not going to look it up. You can look it up. King James Version is what it's saying here. Please melt away any hardiness in my heart. High cholesterol and fatty tissues. The Lord desires for me to be tender hearted. Mm. While I'm killing the gays. 